Hello, amazing people. I welcome you back to my channel, guys. How are you all doing today? Hope you're all doing great, guys. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to um cut your Igbo wrapper. Okay, yes, guys, super easy. Yes, but like very, very easy here. Um, can be a little bit tricky, but trust me, I'm going to break it down so that you just know that there's nothing here at all to worry about. Yes, guys. So this is how you can look when you're done cutting your Igbo wrapper. You can style it the way you want. Yes, guys. So here is my print. Um, what I here comes by six yards okay so from this six yards i'm going to cut in out two layers of this wrapper so the first layer will usually run from the waist all the way to the floor length like that's the base of it then the second layer is the one that you can actually strap you know the way you want it you can be a little bit um shorter from the other one or you can make it as a knot tie just like you see from my intro um pics there okay yes guys so um i'm going to first of all cut out for um the first layer and the two different the difference between these two is just in a little uh, let's say a distance of 10 to 15 inches okay yes so the african prints will not cut by the length of 45 right so they are all the same you're just using the same um um length of course then the width for this one this is a slim person so i'm going to be using um two yards okay yes guys so i'm cutting out first for the first layer now so you can see i'm measuring out um the first um yard here which is 36 okay that's for one yard um then the next i'll go ahead and um, take another 36 inches here so that makes it what two yards okay yes that's two years now so this is just two years i'm using like i said for the first layer so mind you i said this is for a slim person so if um, you're a little bit on the chubby side then you might want to use say two years with some extra inches like 10 to 15 inches or if for a very big person they can even do 2.5 or even two and a half years or even as much as three depending on the size okay yes guys so two years is enough for this person for the first layer why for the second layer now um i'm just going to add just a little bit inches okay to make this one wider because the second layer is usually wider okay so you see me now i'm taking the first um yard there 36 inches then the second one now I'm taking note of that now, which is also 36 inches, making it two years, right? Then the extra, the extra, I'm just doing an extra of 10 inches. That's all. It's just an extra of 10 inches that I'm adding, okay? So the, the, the second layer is just wider by what, 10 10 inches guys so that's it here so i'm going ahead what well, to cut it out and guys that's it like our wrapper is ready leftover i'm going to be using it for the Igbo blouse which by the way um i'll be linking up um um later on so you can also go ahead and um, watch that afterwards okay yes guys so i'm just going ahead to indicate the wrong side there so we are done with our two-piece wrappers the only thing left now is just to make our fold you can see by the side there i'll fold half of an inch then fold about three quarter of an inch just by the sides i'll do this i'll do this for the other side as well okay why for the the longer parts okay where we have this our edges there um some people like to leave it that way but i usually like to hide it i don't like that some um, part being visible okay so I'll, I'll be making a fold in you can fold it just once since the edges is already locked up already you can fold it once or you can fold it and um, twice okay so you can just make your fold like this and fold it again and that's it so this will be running from the tip all the way to the length and also on the lower part as well okay yes guys so remember this one now is just for the uh, the first layer and the same thing i'm also going to do for the second layer now for the first layer um the, i'm going to be adding um, a strip a strip of about 10 to 15 inches okay yeah so you can see me i'm just using my tape root to indicate now so once i'm done hemming all the sides and the edges then i'll be adding a strip okay so th that strip is going to enable to tie it up round the waist properly and make it sit very well before tying the upper part on top of it and guys believe it or not that is how to cut your Igbo wrapper okay once you're done just go ahead and style it the way you want thank you so much guys we have come to the end of this video if you find this helpful please don't forget to give me a giant like and also if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to do that as well i'll really really appreciate that okay thank you so much guys to all my subscribers i say a very very big thank you to you guys i appreciate you guys a whole lot till i see you on the next video have a wonderful day.